Hello, my dear students. My name is Ankit Sharma, and I welcome you all to the Primary Skills. In this video, we are actually going to discuss the second part of Part Three, basically, that is the critical thinking. So this is also the part of Unit Four. In the previous videos, we discussed about the interview skills, group discussion, and then finally we discussed about the argumentation skills, analysis, cohesion, emphasis. Today, we are going to discuss about the critical thinking and the nuances. Okay, these exposition, narration, and description have already been discussed in the part three, part one. Okay, so now we are moving towards the critical thinking. So let us talk about what are critical thinking skills. First of all, what is critical thinking? Critical thinking is the ability to think clearly and rationally, understanding the logical connection between ideas. So if there are certain ideas, if you can create them, if you can actually connect them. uh like with the logical ideas or logic or logics or approach uh, so critical thinking is the ability to think clearly and rationally understanding the logical connection between ideas so if you can connect ideas logically then you are a critical thinker critical thinking has been subject of much debate and thought since the time of early greek philosophers such as plato and socrates and has continued to be a subject of discussion into the modern age for example the ability to recognize fake news so nowadays there is a problem of fake news whatsapp university keep on delivering so many so much information to you which you cannot identify whether it's fake or it's true so in order to understand the difference between the fake and the true information you need to be critical thinker critical thinking might be described as the ability to engage in reflective and independent thinking so if you want to be reflective and independent thinker you need to be a critical thinker in a sense critical thinking requires you to use your ability to reason so if you have the ability to reason or give logic about a point you are a critical thinker it is about being an active learner rather than a passive recipient of the information so if somebody is giving you any information and if you are receiving it without asking any question you are a passive uh you can say a passive receiver or rather i say i should say that you are not a critical thinker critical thinkers rigorously question ideas and assumptions rather than accepting them at face value so if somebody is telling you some information but that person is credible do not believe in that person especially because the face value of that person is higher always try to question the information this will always seek to determine whether the ideas arguments and finding represent the entire picture and are open to finding that they do not critical thinkers will identify analyze and solve problems systematically rather than intuition rather than depending upon the intuition and instinct okay so intuition and instinct are at some places okay but for a critical thinker they really don't hold any value someone will critical thinking skills can so if a person is a critical thinker what he can do number 1 he can understand the links between the ideas okay so if there are two information he can easily understand the links between them determine the importance and relevance of arguments and idea recognize build and appraise arguments identify inconsistencies and errors in reasoning approach problem in a consistent and systematic way and reflect on justification of their own assumptions beliefs and values for a critical thinker for being a critical thinker you need to have control or you need to simply eliminate the assumptions beliefs and values which you already hold if there is no logic please do not uh subscribe to or do not specifically go to those ideas or those beliefs which are already in you know in your mind or in your society critical thinking refers to the ability to analyze information objectively and make a reasoned judgment it involves the evaluation of sources such as data facts observations phenomena and research findings so what it means like you should be able to just research the data you should be able to analyze the data and finally come to the conclusion and then you should be able to receive a fact as a fact otherwise you should not do that good critical thinkers can draw reasonable conclusions from the set of information and discriminate between useful and less useful details to solve problems or to make decisions so if a person is a critical thinker he can easily identify whether i should believe on this information i should take a decision in favor of it or against of it critical thinking is thinking about things in certain way so as to arrive at the best possible solution in the circumstances that a thinker is aware of so you need to understand the concept you need to understand the logic and then come up with the best possible solution in more everyday language it is a way of thinking about whatever is presently occupying your mind so that you can 
come to the best possible conclusion so whatever is occupying your mind you should just like simply weigh it on the logical scale and then come to know whether this is really logical or whether this is really acceptable or not critical thinking skills help you understand and assess a situation based on all the facts and information available with the help of critical thinking skills you can sort and organize information data and facts to define and solve a problem so it basically a sort of data analysis uh, like approach also it is basically an approach of, uh, a scientific approach also that you are actually looking into the data and finally looking for the reasons to accept a valid fact critical thinking is a process of analyzing a topic or a problem deeply based upon the relevant information here are some common steps to follow while thinking critically to solve a problem so what are the steps number 1 identify an issue or a problem if there is a problem identify what is it understand the reason behind the problem and its solution so if somebody is asking you to solve a problem try to understand why he wants this problem to be solved and what exactly the problem is in entirety research and collect data or information on the issue try to understand the data from every single point of view sort and organize finding in data whatever you have found as a data try to sort it out develop and implement develop and implement solution whatever solution you devise try to develop it and implement it analyze the success and failure of the different solutions whatever you have implied try to take the feedback and try to weigh it again on a scale to find out whether it has really been successful or not identify ways to refine solution and if there is some sort of mistake try to rectify them and again implement them factors of critical thinking now what can be the factors of critical thinking the skills we need for the critical thinking are observation analysis interpretation reflection evaluation inference explanation problem solving and decision making these skills in themselves are self explanatory so i'm not actually devoting much time over them especially we need to be able to think about a topic or an issue in an objective and critical way whatever topic we have in hand we should be able to just think about it critically identify the different arguments there are in relation to the particular issue what are the arguments in relation to that particular issue maybe against or maybe in favor try to analyze them properly evaluate a point of view evaluation is very important you need to understand that if you don't evaluate the point of view probably you would not be able to understand what is right and what is wrong recognize any weakness or negative point that there is in the evidence or argument if there is any weak point okay so try to eliminate it notice what implications there might be behind a statement or an argument what can be the implications sometimes implications cannot be seen in near future you need to be a little bit meticulous about it you need to think about a uh, think about the future implications of it or future conclusions about it provide structured reasoning and support for an argument that we wish to make always try to make sure that whatever you want to whatever argument you want to make they should be structured and in a proper way importance of critical thinking why critical thinking is important in the workplace critical thinking guides good decision making in the workplace allowing you to recognize barriers to success and find solutions to the potential issues nowadays every employer is looking for the critical thinking because critical thinking is very important problem solving skill if you do not have critical thinking skills probably problem solving will not be your forte so it helps you to and your colleague to brainstorm new ideas and implement them to further your goals so whatever your goals are if you have the critical thinking and your team has a critical thinking approach then you would be able to solve the problem in far better way critical thinking can help identify and address workflow inefficiencies improve management techniques guide financial decisions and cultivate a strategic mindset in almost any possible situation so it can give you a very important tool to solve any single problem employers want job candidates who can evaluate the situation using logical thought and offer the best solution yes employers always want those people who are able to solve the problems and take decisions in pressurized or you can say situations which requires uh, more attention someone with critical thinking skills can be trusted to make decisions independently and will not need constant hand holding so what happens like if an if an employer is hiring you then it becomes your responsibility to take your decisions according to uh your discretion or at different times so if you would be seeking permission every single time from the higher authorities the higher authorities will consider why exactly i have hired this person if that person is not able to take decisions properly and solve the problems himself so critical thinking skill is very important critical thinking abilities are among the most sought after skills in almost every industry and workplace in today's world whenever there is too much vagueness or too much uh, you can say uh, overloading of information critical thinking skills becomes very much relevant 
you can demonstrate critical thinking using related keywords in your resume and cover letter and during an interview so like if you really want to show that how uh, you might be very much interested in knowing how to show that i am critical thinker so in order to do that you need to add certain points add certain uh, specific uh, words or you can say a vocabulary in your resume during your interview to show that you are a critical thinker how to become a critical thinker so in order to become a critical thinker you need to apply these six steps to every problem number one find the exact cause whatever the cause of the problem is collect data suggestions and arguments be critical about the data whatever data you are getting do not go over its credibility try to analyze it properly confirm significance so whatever the significance of the data is try to confirm it conclude it and then finally present or communicate so find the exact cause so now let's discuss them uh, these points in great detail find the exact cause stay to the point and focus on the issue whenever you are dis whenever you are actually being a critical thinker whenever you are actually researching about a problem be very much consistent or be very much focused on the issue only observation is very important for developing critical thinking you need to be very much observant okay employees who develop observational skills at very early stage during the job are the best in recognizing and solving problem early they are quick in identifying new problems and may be able to predict a problem before it arises based on experience so if you are a good critical thinker and if you actually try to just look for the solution you will always be very much in prematurely stage in premature stage you would be able to identify what problem can occur in future collect data suggestions and argument after identifying a problem you need analytical skills try to analyze the data properly you should be capable of analyzing the situation based on facts data information about the problem and it will be helpful to collect views and ideas from various sources type of analytical skills required to critical thinking are what are the different analytical thinking skills proper questioning try to create proper questions research about the topic do the data analysis make good judgments recognize patterns what is happening how exactly is happening how often it is happening be skeptical at times skeptic skepticism is very much important if you agar aapke dimag mein shanka hai aur shak hai to aap us cheez ko aur acche tarike se karenge and then interpretation ability whatever you are doing interpretation is very very important the interpretation should be correct number 3 be critical about the data whatever data you are getting do not rely on it directly try to have multiple sources try to just look for the multiple sources and try to analyze the data in a proper way then confirm the significance use a statistical analysis to check the significance level of your information okay so whatever information you are getting try to analyze it and then try to just you know do it statistical analysis also to understand the significance give a solution whenever you are like analyzing the data your final approach or final step should be giving the solution because if you are not giving the solution your critical thinking doesn't hold a value okay so critical thinking being critical thinking means able to provide a proper solution and a like well, valuable solution present or communicate whenever you have the solution try to you should be articulate enough to present your solution you should be able to convince somebody argumentation skills play a very important role here so nowadays storytelling or the uh, the data storytelling is very much popular in corporate so you need to know uh, you need to understand various types of narratives very various types of uh, storytelling techniques and ethos pathos and logos so if you really want to communicate you need to understand that what communication really means so type of critical thinking so there are three basic type of critical thinking basically problem solving number one is a problem solving so in order to be a good problem solver you need to give attention to details be a good decision maker you need to understand the clarification patterns identifying patterns and evaluation and innovation then finally coming the open mindedness don't be narrow minded be very much open mindedness it means uh, be very much open minded means that you should be able to adapt to the situation or try to uh, take the points in a positive way so be fair be diverse uh, humility should be there in order to have that open mindedness objectivity should be there inclusivity it means you should try to include every single person you need to have the reflection ability and then finally the observation ability and then comes the creativity now what is the meaning of creativity in order to be creative you need to have the conceptualization skills flexibility curiosity imagination inferring drawing connections synthesizing predicting and you should have a vision also tips for improving your critical thinking what can be the various tips broaden your technical and industry specific skills try to expand your horizons do not be uh, do not be the dog of your own domain only so if you will be just learning about only your domain probably you would be simply outdated try to just learn from different domains volunteer to solve problems whenever you face a problem do not hide yourself do not come do not hold yourself back to just you know uh, to the bad and the comfort zone 
try to come out of your comfort zone whenever you face a problem face it and try to solve it confidently the more you try to solve a problem you will be having confidence okay look for the evidences from expert try to read and uh, read the case studies solved by the experts try to uh, read the biographies of the experts that how exactly they take the problem play games in groups or alone that require analysis and inference in order to keep your mind active try to just you know indulge yourself into lot many more uh, mind activities or you can say like mind games consider asking a colleague or a friend to assess your present skills and provide you unbiased feedback about your strength ask for the feedback occasionally i mean like more often ask for the feedback from from different people try to understand your strengths and weaknesses and then start working upon them showing critical thinking during your job search so whenever you are doing a job search how can you show the critical thinking skills number 1 add critical thinking keywords to your resume whenever you are using your resume when you are preparing your resume try to use certain keywords certain for example creativity problem solving analytic analytical skills etc then add critical thinking skills to your cover letter always try to understand that if you are sending a cover letter the cover letter is the first thing which an employer is reading so in your cover letter also try to use certain keywords which relate to the critical thinking and demonstrate your critical thinking skills to the interviewer talk about the times when you came across a challenge and how you used your critical thinking skills to solve it try to narrate a story storytelling is a very impactful way to just communicate your idea or to communicate your skills some interviewers might use a hypothetical problem or a scenario to test your critical thinking skills they can give you a case study they can give you a previous problem statement and then can ask you to figure out a solution a hypothetical solution top critical thinking skills are analysis interpretation inference evaluation explanation self regulation open mindedness and problem solvingness we have already discussed about them so this was all about the critical thinking my dear students i hope you understood about the critical thinking if there is any question or any doubt you would like to ask me i'm always open so you can ask me through the comment box or you can simply ask me through the whatsapp or uh, like telegram in order to get the material or the presentation which i used here the notes which i used here you can simply refer to the telegram channel and there you would definitely be finding all the notes from unit 1 to unit 5 So that was all from my side. If you like the video and if you want me to just keep on creating the content, then probably you should like it and you should try to share it with other people also, which we which gives me the confidence and encouragement also. So thank you so much, my dear students. Uh, see you in the next video. Uh, and don't worry, I'm actually going to just complete this labels within this week only. So you don't need to worry about this labels. The labels will definitely be completed. I promise you. So thank you so much, guys. See you in the next video.